Hey, it's me again. In this video, we're going to continue with the Amazing Gallbladder Part 2. Now, in Part 1, we talked about the function of the gallbladder, which basically is to help release bile to help break down fats. Okay, And bile, B-I-L-E, is a good thing. It's not waste. It's a good thing to help extract nutrients from the food that you're eating. Now, if there's a lack of bile or if there's congestion in the gallbladder uh, because of a lack of bile, Yes, you can get pain around your midsection over the gallbladder, but you can also get something called referred pain. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's a nerve that goes from the top of the gallbladder on the diaphragm there all the way up to the right side into your neck, and that's called the phrenic nerve. So it's a hidden referred pain because a lot of times you think you have pain in the right shoulder here, but really it's coming from down here. So the typical pain that will happen is right on the right upper shoulder, right through in here. And there's a muscle right here, and it attaches to this bone right here called the scapula into the neck. And so this little muscle called the levator triangular scapula muscle, that muscle gets really tight and ropey, and a lot of people massage that thing all the time, but it never releases because the problem is in the gallbladder. And so when you step on a dog's tail, he barks through his, what? Wow. Mouth. Very good. That's my analogy. Um, so what happens is that you'll get pain right through here. It can refer up into the neck. It can go into the right side of the jaw. It can cause headaches. It can go on the shoulder itself. It can go right around this scapula right through in here. But anything right here is all gallbladder and liver because it's backing up through this liver. There's not enough space so it can put pressure on that area. If that happens and the person sleeps on their left side, because this liver is a little bit uh, enlarged, it can compress the heart a little bit and you'll feel uncomfortable. So the best way to sleep with this problem is on the right side and not on the left side. Now, when this nerve um, gets aggravated and it pinches like the third bone right here, that's where it goes to, it can cause a little rotation of those vertebra and, and the need to go to a chiropractor over and over and over and over again. Um, so it pinches that nerve, it can even cause pain all the way down the right side. And so I'll see people that come in with splints on the finger and pain on the hand or the wrist or the arm, and they think the problem is in the hand, yet there's no injury. Well, I already know it's something right here. So a little bit of, let's turn this around here. If you were to press um, on the gallbladder very gently, and if you notice relief right here, then we know it's the digestive system, it's the gallbladder. So what do we do? Do we tape the gallbladder out? No. no. Okay, no, we actually start eating healthy. So the best food for the, the gallbladder would be um, a healthy diet, like a lot of greens, a lot of vegetable, some fat. You don't want to have no fat, low fat, because that, that's going to be a problem, um, because you need some fat to release it. So, but a lot of salads and vegetables and things like that, that's what you eat, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> So I just wanted to explain in part two this concept of referred pain and how common this condition is, yet very few people know about it. So I'm increasing your awareness on the gallbladder. So I will see you in the third part.